Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauties World. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this unit the way that it's looking and the key thing that I did that was different in this video is that I applied my wig using the hot glue method. So if you want to see how I achieved that please make sure you stay tuned but before we get into the video please make sure you subscribe click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video and while you're at it click that like button. Show your girl some love. I love when I see that you guys are liking the, the video <laughs> and let's go ahead and dive right in so today's hair is from me Lisa and this is how the packaging looks came in the little clear pink packet I have a frontal and three bundles in 24 26 and 22 I think here is the curl pattern very beautiful this is my absolute favorite curl pattern of all times. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and rack up on this type of curl pattern, but that is the frontal. I love the way it has the, the little dips in it. It looks very natural. It did come pre-plugged, so that's always a good thing. But do you see how that's just bouncing? I just love, love, love it. So of course I bleached the knots and now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the unit together. So I added a plastic bag over my wig block and I put the dome cap and some T-pins so that it won't move. And now I'm showing you guys the packaging again. We're gonna go ahead and add the frontal on first, place it the way that you normally would place it. I add the T-pins to keep it in place so that it don't move around. And I also love to braid it to keep all the hairs out of the way. I don't wanna get any of the glue on that. So make sure you clip it up, braid it up, whatever you have to do. So um, my next part is going to be gluing down the frontal. So we're going to do this half and half. You don't want to do it, you know, all in one go because, you know, sometimes the glue dries up and it won't stick correctly. So you want to make sure that you do it little by little just to be, you know, on the safe side. So here I am putting the glue on and then I'm going to press it down. On this side, I did the whole little line, but I will show you on the other side how you can do it a little bit shorter. So I'm just using a brush because I don't want to touch that hot glue because it's super hot. You don't want to burn your fingers. So I'm using the tip of that brush to um, like press down the wig onto the wig dome cap or whatever. <laughs> and then after it dries a little, I'm just pressing down with my fingers to make sure it's super secure. And that was like super quick, you guys. So here I am on the other side, I'm going to do smaller strokes on this one and then I'm going to go ahead and press it down. You know, just work at your own pace, you don't have to like speed through it. Just, you know, take your time so that you won't, you won't get the glue everywhere. So I'm going to continue doing it like that on the front tip. And like I said, at the end, you're gonna just press it down to make sure it's super secure and all that glue is just, you know, on there sticking nicely. Now it's time to add the bundles and I like to add a T-pin towards the end to hold the bundles together to make sure nothing is moving around. And then I like to kind of measure where I'm gonna put it at and I might go ahead and, you know, start putting the glue you know, little by little, you don't want to use too much at one time because it will dry up on you and it won't stick correctly. So you're going to just put it right on just like that and press it down. I'm going to be quiet now. You guys can see how I'm doing it. It's, you know, it's better to just watch instead of me just explaining it. So that's what I'm doing. I also want to show you guys another way that I was applying it. I found this way is a little bit easier for me to do, to put it straight onto the dome cap and then placing the track right on top of it like that. And then of course pressing it down with the brush. But I found that was a little bit easier for me, you guys. Now I'm gonna do the fold over method. So I'm gonna put that glue on the back part of the track there. And then I'm gonna just, you know, fold it right on over make sure you don't get it on that t-pin because you're gonna have to remove that 
So I'm just folding that right up and it laid super flat so you're not gonna have like all those bulky parts in your wig. So yes, it laid super flat, I love it. And I'm gonna continue doing that until I finish the wig. Alright guys, so the wig is completed. I'm taking the braids right on out so that I can see how it's looking, how it's sitting and everything. I'm really, really loving the fact that this took like less than an hour. Probably took about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes to do a whole unit. I think that's like super fast and ridiculous because it takes me like an hour and a half to, you know, sew the wig down. So. I think this is a great method if you want to like speed through and you know do a unit really really quickly I'm just showing you guys how it looks on the inside it looks really good I really like it now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off that extra dome cap on there and yeah here it is everything is nice and snug it doesn't feel like it's gonna come off and I've been wearing this wig for about a week and a half two weeks and nothing's moving, nothing has loosened up, nothing has, you know, did anything. It's just been sticking there. <laughs> so it's really great. The only thing I would say is that some of the glue, you can kind of see it throughout the hair. You're going to have to pick it out because you're going to see a little bit of the, the stringy type of glue on there. So here I'm just showing you how you can cover the white spots that the glue leaves towards the top of the head. You just use, a, you know, a permanent marker and just color right over that bad boy. So I'm showing you guys here the natural hairline that it has. Like I said, it came pre-plucked. So if you don't know how to pluck your hair, you're gonna be safe. You're gonna already have your hair plucked already. So that's what I had left from the wig. And now I place the wig on with my got to be glue as always. And this is what it looks like. Very beautiful. So of course the frontal kinda, you know, dropped the curl a little bit because I washed it. But it still has a nice like wavy look to it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and add a side part. You guys know I love my side part. So of course I did that. I'm using my hot comb. I love this thing. It makes every unit look so much more natural because it lays so much more flatter and realistic. So I'm just going to go ahead and you know snatch up those edges. I'm doing so much better with my edges you guys. I'm so happy. So we're just going to do that and then after that I'm going to go ahead and start curling it up you guys. So I'm only going to be curling the frontal area because I want it to look just like the bundles in the back. I love the way the curls look on that. Um, I did use a big like 2 inch curling wand, not curling wand but a curler which the curls came out really nicely. I liked it, but I really wanted it to be a more tighter curl, which I will show you guys later on. Um, the curl pattern that I've been doing lately. But as you can see there, it looks really, really beautiful, really bouncy, nice big, you know, curls in the hair. And I did pin up the bang area just to give it a nice little swoop to the front because I didn't want to cut it. So I just did that and this is what it's looking like. I really, really do think that is really, really pretty. And of course I'm zhuzhing it up because I like a lot of body, you guys. I like thick hair. So that's what I did. And now I'm going to be showing you guys how it looks when I wand curled it. it. It was my birthday and of course I wore that hair. I wore that hair the whole weekend. I love it so much and the wand curls look so much better to me. What do you guys think? Do you like the wand curls better than the regular curler? 
I think so. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave you guys with a little bit of um, a slatro, as I call it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so you made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, become a part of the beauty fam. Click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And of course, check out my latest videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.